Pretty sure I would have rather had Gator at small forward than Jalen Brown last night. Good good afternoon. I mean, Gator's got to have better handles. <laughs> I felt so bad. Don't, don't. We're going to get into this. I, I do want to say that I am not going to continue this broadcast until Paul Sarah leaves behind the glass. I don't want to even. <laughs> hey, I don't hey, want to look Paul. at you. Hey, Paul. <laughs> You don't look worried anymore. Game exactly. seven kind of worked out for you on the road. Was it was it equally happy for you watching the destruction in Boston? What are you, Roy Firestone? I don't want his opinions. <laughs> Paul, you got to get to the mic. We can't see you nodding your head. It's radio. Yeah, Paul, mouth moving. He says you know. the point that he won in Boston <laughs> makes it great. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> Paul worked with us last week while you were out. I heard. And it was like, he walks in, he's like, he was, he was like Rodney Dangerfield in Caddyshack when he walks into the clubhouse, and he's like, oh, I don't know what to do here. I mean, all my teams do is win. And I'm like, die. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> so, Liz, hold on. You wanna, we can go right into it. I would rather my team have just been swept. Like, rather than go through this last week culminating in one of the most embarrassing losses in franchise history – I, I would just rather be swept. And it's not even, it's not a Boston thing or a Celtics thing. It's a sports thing. If you're a Detroit sports fan, you're down 0 3. You're emotionally bereft. There's nothing left. You're numb. Yeah. So just lose. Instead, they got the defibrillators out. They inexplicably win game four. Then they go and win game five, and you're like, all right, well, now they got to go to Miami. Miami will finish business. David calls up the JC hotline. We got a hot verse. Derek White is basically the Virgin Mary. And you're like, wow, they're going to do this. Then you get all amped up for game seven. You're ready to roll last night. And the next thing you know, I'm witnessing the Celtics miss 18 of 21 shots. Tatum looks like he's on quaaludes. I don't want to hear about the ankle. I don't want to hear about it. Jalen Brown has eight turnovers. You got to talk about the ankle. I don't want to talk about the ankle. You, it, it was legit. No, it, it's not. Because in the same, you know what? Ask Isaiah Thomas about an ankle. What did he do? Drop 25 on a broken ankle, basically? Well, you know, guys were tougher back in the day. How about when Carl <laughs> Malone opened up his skull and he kept going? Like, I don't want to hear it. I just don't. TJ Lang was in the building today. And maybe in retirement, TJ's gotten soft. TJ played three weeks in a row on a broken foot. Jack Youngblood played in an NFC title game on a broken leg. I don't want to hear it. You rolled your ankle. Wah. Bottom line, (laughs) Jalen Brown wants a Supermax. You can't play that way. So my, my whole thing is I left last night going, you know what? I wish they just got swept. What Detroit fan is with me on this? I, I don't need the emo- the performative theater. Okay, but here's the thing. If they would have gotten swept, Mike, you couldn't have hit the high that you had Friday night. Because Friday night, man. Saturday. Saturday, yeah. The, the, the tip in. I was ready to donate to David's church. Second left. Wait, did the shot count? It did. I knew it counted. Zero uh, BS. <laughs> I knew it counted. I was that like, light was uh, not on. I was like, I, I didn't know. I was in disbelief. It happened. But I went, I think that's good. That's good. And right. I'm the last guy to do the whole positive routine. But see, but you wouldn't have had that joy. You wouldn't have had the whole, oh, wait. Okay. You thought this thing was over at 3-0? Okay. Nah, it's 3-3. Okay, but it's like watching an episode of Jerry Springer. Wife cheating on husband or husband cheating on wife. They reconcile. Faux joy. She never or he never stopped cheating. They discover the affair never stopped. That's what the Celtics did to me. Mikey. Mikey. (laughs) Right. (laughs) The only thing missing was security Steve. I mean, come on. Where was Maury saying you are not the series winner? Yeah. That is one of the worst losses in franchise history. So whether you're a Piston fan, Tiger fan, Lion fan, Wings fan, I mean – Look at Kenny sitting there. If the Wings came back from 03 to then come home to the old Joe or LCA and lose 5-0 in a game seven, don't tell me you wouldn't rather just be swept. Being swept is like you're getting put down. It's over. Being swept is the equivalent. You go through all the stages of grief before halftime. 
or before in yeah. Canning, before you hit the the third period, you've already gone through the accept. You've hit acceptance. All right. Look at the Tigers in 2012. They go to the World Series. Imagine if they had battled back to force a game seven and then played that way and did what the Tigers did yesterday. Five nothing, no drama, never in it. Hell no. I'll I'll just take Kung Fu Panda hitting bombs left and right. End it. Be done with it. Because here's the thing. This was not a game seven that was like an ESPN classic. This was not, oh, my God, no team deserves to lose this one, John. This was the Celtics looked like they were drugged. Or in the case of Jalen Brown, I know it's not real, but it looked like, I swear it looked like he owed the mafia money. If you told me. it, It was his time to shine. Oh, I forgot. You're right. No, no, I'm just saying, it was It was like, wow. Well, don't worry, he's going to be a piston. I'm going to trade but him not, to you, and it's going to all be okay. You're right, it, because when you lose, like, you know, even going back to, like, the Pistons Spurs, we, we all can remember Rasheed, like, please don't leave Robert Ory. Even when you see it on, would have rather you know, the classics. Swept. Would have rather been swept in 05, if you're a Piston fan, than to know you blew the title in game five with Sheed's brain fart. And then have to go play game seven, and you scored like six points. But yeah, just the whole no show at home. Oh, that was embarrassing. I felt, I was like, you know what? And I, and guess what? Like, I, I said the, it to Doug in the crosstalk. Doug was dancing around it. And I'm like, guys, I know who you're talking about. Oh, Boston fans. Uh, you, you mean the guy who comes on after you? Just say it. Break balls. <laughs> my feelings aren't hurt. I hate my own team today. Do whatever you like. Take great joy in it. Make fun of it. Dance. Laugh. Have a hoot nanny. I don't care. Yeah. I, actually, the last time I felt, it reminded me of the, uh, what, 2015 or I guess 2016 MSU Alabama playoff game. Quick, painless. Where you're sitting there and I, I think it's over. I imagine that's what cremation is. Or or you know what? <laughs> it's just b- b- boom, or, earn. Or, or not even to go that far, Mike. Anytime Dust. MSU plays Ohio State. Yes. 28 nothing before the first commercial break. Right. They haven't even had the team intros. Right. <laughs> they don't even the, the kids haven't even had their picture up on screen. It was 14 nothing. Right. I would much rather have that than than the Celtics battling back to do that last night. And look, the Jalen Brown thing is going to be a thing until he's traded. I think he played his last his last game as a Celtic and the Pistons have had this loose connectivity to him. I'll trade him to you. I'm done. He probably needed a police escort last night. Eight turnovers. Guy's got a toaster for a left hand. Yeah. This was one where you were. He should have earned his money. He should have said, Boston, I'm worth every penny of the 250 plus million you're going to pay me. Mm. And after last night, Mm. I don't know how you walk in there with your agent and say, you know, we still want the money. Do he, you? He'd be better to serve Xeroxing <laughs> his ass and bringing it in and handing it to Wick Grosbeck. Only to drop it on the way to hand it off. Yeah, this Turn is what I nine. showed you in game seven right here. <laughs> this is my ass. <laughs> yeah, I, brought, I brought one copy for every turnover. Here's eight. So, no, I, I just I would love to know. It doesn't matter what, what fan you are. Look, football is different. It's a one-and-done format. It's harder to have the direct comparison. When you are in a playoff series, and I know you remember this if you're an old head, or, you know, Kenny even, you'd have to go back to 09 for the wings. You get in these playoff series, they take up multiple weeks of your life. You're playing the same team. You hate you hate certain players. It intensifies. You gain a respect for other players. It's a roller coaster. The point I'm making is if you have a hard-fought series and you lose Game seven, and it's an unbelievable game. You can't say you'd rather be swept. But when you get to that point and no show, the way the Celtics did, oh, Rico, please. We lost to, we lost to like a gym class. See, game. I thought maybe you took some solace in the fact that you lost your star player his first shot. Nah, I don't know. his ankle. No, no. No. It's not an excuse, Mike, but you you're know not the same person. Okay, and that's fine. But you know what I needed Jason Tatum to do? Be a leader. Yeah. He's not a leader. No, we. I think we've established that. Now, I have to keep him versus Jalen Brown. Right. Because the Jalen thing, 
you had an opportunity to be Batman. You know what Jalen reminds me of a little bit? He reminds me a little bit of young Kyrie. You get an air about him. I want my own team. I'm the man. I don't want to share the spotlight. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. All right, homie. Dad's not home. Here you go. Protect the house. There's three yeah. people at the door with shotguns. What are you going to do? Yeah. And when Kyrie had his chance with his own team, it bombed. And Jalen wants his own team? Go ahead, son. Yeah, I go a little bit further back. Yeah, I call it the old Scotty Pippen. Uh, sure. I don't want to live in uh, Mike Jordan's shadow. Yeah, Watch really? This. You didn't realize how comfortable it was. <laughs> it blocks the sun out. It keeps the temperature down. David, you kind of had, uh, I guess, maybe a little bit of taste of that two years in a row. Well, I blame David for what just No, I mean, I'm, just, I'm like, for the Michigan in the playoffs, you had one game where it was over. And you the had other one side game, where you had one game where you still had a shot on the final right. play of the game. And which game was easier to tolerate? It was a Georgia game. Yeah, kind of. You got put into say, a, you got put into an I, urn. I really don't want to give this man over here <laughs> joy, but the Georgia one was a little bit easier That's to handle. That's easier. I mean, look, the Celtics getting to the game 7, I don't care. See, I'm not a loser like so many people out there. I mean, for some of you by the way, and I, I know the last time I talked to you was Friday. You got to stop with this Tiger stuff. You got to stop. <laughs> it's not a good baseball team. You got to stop. 14 and 10 in the month of May. Wow, a Zeppelin still under 500. So the point is, and you're trading Erod. The, the whole point is. And maybe Lang. Right, right. Listen, Alex Lang will land you a treasure chest. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah I'm, people I'm, overpay for him. I'm moving him. Oh, but don't worry. We, it's fun and things. Okay. The point is, I don't care about making game seven. It was NBA title or bust. So there's no joy in making. Like, if you're a Red Wings fan, the 9 thing was excruciating based on how the series unfolded. Lidstrom hitting the crossbar with a minute to go. That, that was an unbelievable series. If the Red Wings went to game seven and no-showed, you're like, do me a favor. Just have the decency to get swept and let's be done with it. Losing game six. I'll throw the number. I want to know if anyone's with me on this. And I guess, yeah. And then when you do Does anyone that, remember what a playoff series feels like? 248. I remember. Right. <laughs> We're going to get a call from Colombo. 248-539-9797. And by the way, I'll trade you Jalen Brown right now. I kind of feel like he's played his last game in Boston. You guys keep bringing his name up to me on this show. Okay. I'll set the price for you. And you're going to hate it. But we'll, we'll be the voice of reason on that one, too. People acting like that number five pick has any value. If that pick was so sweet, you wouldn't be trying to peddle it like a bag of apples. Maybe not the number five pick, but other things in that uh, scenario that you have. Oh, there's a lot more you need to give. Yeah. 248 539 Rico, take him to church.